Hiya, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails and in this video we are going to be doing some creamy Christmassy nails because everyone's wanting to get the Christmas nails ready now. Oh fluff. <laughs> ready for the Christmas rush. So I have got two almond fit tips and I've already painted them with I191, I've done two colour coats on each tip and then I have used the Ultimate No White top coat on them as well. So now I'm going to put some chrome. So this is a chrome that is going to be released at some point. It's a rose gold chrome. I've put some couch roll down because I end up making a mess. So I'm just going to put my gloved finger in there, you don't need loads, and just rub it on, oh, I love that colour, oh I love that colour, goes a really nice colour over that I191, Joanna Dodd, does it, mm. really nice, yes, so now they're nicely chromed, I've got an old artist, no I haven't, an old acrylic brush that I use for glitters. So I'm just going to dust that off and this one. Because one of them I am going to top coat now. So you want to top coat your chrome twice. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using two two lots of no white top coat because they've got nothing to stick to in between so you can get a bit of peeling sometimes so i'm going to use rock plus no i'm not because that's my new one and i'll be honest it's not for glitter and i don't want to get chrome in it so i'm going to do base elevation for this first top coat you could use you can use any of the bases you can use flubber anything like that and then you can put over your top coat or your ultimate, you know, your ultimate no wipe or rock or whichever you wanted. Um, or um, you can top coat twice with the same top coat. It's up to you. But I do always recommend having one top coat for glitter and obviously chrome and stuff. So, once that's covered, pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So, on this tip, we've chromed it, I've not top coated it again, and I'm going to do my design with my no white top coat. We hope. We hope. I'm going to get my dotting tool ready. I'm going to use C and D, so they're quite small, these dotting tool ends. I'm going to decant some of the Ultimate No Wipe Top Coat onto my silicone pad. And I'm going to use my Artiste brush and hope that this works. So, I'm going to do some dots first because they're easy, easiest. So I'm going to do, oh what happened there, I'm going to do a few little dots and then with my artiste brush I'm going to do some stars I hope. And I paint my stars just as you would draw a star on a piece of paper. It can be hard to see, but if you can persevere with it, it'll be worth it in the end. I'm going to do some more dots of different sizes. And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now this one's come out and now I'm going to do my second top coat on this one and I'm going to use velvet matte. So we're going to have a matte 
chrome. Pull that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So this one that we've done our stars and dots on is cured. So I'm going to get a lymphree wipe and some of the green cleaner. And I'm going to wipe over. And we are left with some chrome stars and dots. I love that. Very nice. Our other one is cured. Ooh, that's nice, Matt. That's really nice, Matt. It looks furry. It looks furry? Yeah, like, you know, like, like velvet furry. It you know, like Really um, nice, that is. So, on this one, I'm going to paint a stag. So, on this one, I'm going to paint a stag. I'm just debating. Yeah. So I'm going to paint the head and neck in I-54. So I'm going to decant some onto my silicone pad. And I'm also going to get out some of the white, no white gel paint. Just a little bit. So I'm going to do my outline of the head and neck with I-54. I'm looking over here because I've got a picture of one that I did last year. Because it's been a while since I painted this. So. I'm going to start at the top of the head. You want it quite high up because you want to kind of make use of the space that you've got. I'm going to come round and down and curve it in a bit for the back of the head, neck area. And then I'm going to extend this side out a bit. Probably a bit more. And then fill it in and then once you've filled it in, when you look at it you'll get a better idea of the shape because sometimes when you've just got the outline of something you can't really tell if it's right or not. And then just make sure you're happy with the rest of the shape with the front of the head and stuff like that. Gonna make the nose a little bit longer. Nose? Snout? Don't know what you really call it. No, isn't a snout a pig? Yeah, but you can have snouts and other stuff, can't you? Good. When you're happy with it, pop it into cure for 60 seconds. So when that's cured, I'm going to just decant a little bit of fresh I-54, so it's not been sat there for too long, and I'm just going to give it another coat. So now that I've done my second coat, I'm going to add some ears in. So I'm going to do one at the quite close to the front. And then one further back. I'm just going to pop that into cure. And then once that's cured, I'm going to add in his antlers. So I'm going to do one at the front. And for this part, I'm using the no wipe gel paint because I want to be able to get those nice thin lines with it. And then when you've done your sort of central antler line, 
your other bits just sort of branch off from it. And then once you've done your antlers, pop it, pop it into cure and then I'm going to top coat over his head. So once that's out of the lamp, I'm using the Ultimate No White Top Coat and my Vice Versa brush. And I'm just going to cover my stag in the top coat. And if you find that you've just gone over the edge slightly, like I have, wipe your brush, make sure it's got nothing on it. So if you need to, you can put it in some green cleaner just to make sure you've got nothing left on it. And then you can just go up to this line and just push it in and clean it up. Get a bit of green cleaner just to wipe that top coat off. And then pop it into cure for 60 seconds. So now that I have done that one, I feel like I need some white on this one to sort of bring it together. So I am going to use the dotting tool end of my vice versa to pick up some white no wipe gel paint. And I'm going to do some little white dot and then I'm going to use my artiste brush to do a couple of little white stars in the gap I'm going to put that into cure and take my stack out. So that is my finished stag on a matte chrome background. I love that. So now that's cured, I like it. It needed that bit of white in. We've got chrome dots and stars and some white dots and stars. So that's them together. So I hope you have enjoyed this Christmassy video. Everything that I've used will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!